Hey, this is Uncle Mark in his office. My office here. Got a computer over there. I got some stuff over there. I got some birds on the other side. Three string cigar box guitar, and this is a fretless. This is a uh, really short little addendum to one of my videos. It's called Preaching Blues. And uh, so this is going to be the down and dirty. So if you watch the video, you'll understand this better. This is for fretless. This is a fretless cigar box guitar here. It says Uncle Mark on it. That's cool. And, uh, but it has fret markers, and they're over here. Okay? So the question was, can I play Preaching Blues like I do it uh, in the lesson on a fretless? And the answer is positively yes. You can fret a fretless. Okay, so here we are, we're fretting the fretless. Okay, fret the fretless. You can even play it that way. Okay, so you can fret a fretless. So don't think you can't, and uh, you can play chords. Sounds a little different, um, of course, and it also sounds different because you're not exactly perfect. On a fretless, it's, you know, you're always a little sharp or a little flat. I mean, you're never exactly perfect. So, um, you know, intonation is the key. Intonation is exactly where that point is where you're perfect. And so you really won't be. You're always a little flat or a little sharp. And, and that's what makes a fretless beautiful. That's what makes the instrument a beautiful instrument is that it it's doesn't have that kind of perfection in it. Um, and you make it that way. And it gives it some wiggle room and breathing space. That's what I like about the fretless. So um, this is how I do this little trick. Um, it's the Preaching Blues, Larkin Poe, but it's a little trick I do. And I... Um, it sounds like this, and we'll break it down. So the first thing you gotta remember is that I'm playing this G low and this G high, okay? So get used to this. And I'm down with the pick. Down, 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 down. Then I'm going to add this F note. So if you look at this guitar, there is the F. So it's D, D sharp, E, and F is right here. And you can see by the fret marker, and you want to be right on the marker. Okay? So that's what I'm going to hit. So I'm going to go G, G, then back to the G. From that point, I take my slide up, and I'm coming up to that right there. See where that fret marker is? That's where I'm coming up to. So that's my pattern. I tend to believe that your pick is a paintbrush, and you're going to paint a rhythm. And you're gonna find a rhythm that works for you. Not all rhythms are the same. You're gonna find one that's perfect for you that doesn't work for me and I can't even do it. There are rhythms that I can do that you won't be able to ever do. It's just the way of the world. And uh, don't worry about it. Just find your space, okay? And some people just chug along. Some people weave. Um, some people do this and then hit a couple notes like that. It's all about what you want to do. It's your music. It's not anyone else's. Your interpretation of classic music of any kind. You know? So remember, your pick is a paintbrush. And I like to weave. That's just the way I am. It may not be your cup of tea, but I like to weave. And so my weaving on this song is G, G, F, G, B flat, G, F again, D, G. Slow. Yeah,
with some religion I'm gonna join that Baptist church See Get some religion I'm gonna join that Baptist church I'm gonna be a Baptist preacher So I don't have to work So that's how I play this thing That's how I do it But you could do it with just your fingers So it depends on how you want to play it, you know. Um, you can also do it with your slide and go. But that creates the only little problem that I have personally with playing slide is getting these middle notes right. I can get them if I focus intently, but my problem is I kind of lose focus when I start thinking of birds or girls or beer or whatever, you know? I can get it, but I have to focus too hard. So I use my finger. So if that works for you, that's fine. It's an awesome song. Um, depends on how you want to do it. Um, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership with a fretless three-string cigar box guitar. Actually, I'm not in the Mothership. I'm in my office. What am I thinking? Um, I do have a uh, PayPal link down below. It's basically a virtual tip jar. Thank you all for everyone that's given and donated, and uh, it's just marvelous. It's a wonderful thing, and it keeps these videos coming, and it keeps me able to break away from my other business to do this. So that's what it enables me to do these things. Um, I thank you so much. Um, this is the day after one year. Uh, it's amazing. The YouTube channel is <laughs> taken off, and it's just so cool. It's so wonderful, and it's all because of you. Thank you so much for everything you do for me and uh, sharing on social media, donations, everything. I really, really say thank you. And uh, keep the questions coming, and I'll try to help you out in any way I can. Thank you so much.